Hi everyone, this is Ramalinga Prasad Kuppa. Welcome to my channel Pharma World. Today's topic is deviation and incidence. Let us see what is the definition of deviation. As per the definition, deviation is a departure from an approved instruction or established standard. That means you did not follow the instructions as prescribed but deviated from the instructions of the procedure or established standard. So what can happen if deviated? One side of the deviation nothing significant or serious may happen. The other side of the deviation may be serious and significant leading to the failure of the product. In either case, it should be handled completely. It is important that any deviation is reported immediately before it is too late. Deviation reporting is not a crime. This reporting will help to improve the system to avoid deviations or minimize occurrences of deviations. So it should be encouraged to report immediately if there are any deviations. Let us see what is an incidence. Incidence is an accident. It is unintentional departure from the procedure. This is also a deviation from the procedure, but it happens as an accident, unintentional accident. The incidence should generally does not cause any significant impact on the procedure or the output because you know that there was an accident. By knowing that there is an accident, you should not continue the operation without correction. However, it should be reported completely whenever there is an incidence. How do you handle the deviation or incidence? Whether it is a deviation or incidence, it is necessary to investigate an impact on quality of output of that particular deviation or incidence. Generally, incident will not lead to a significant impact on the output because incident happens by accident and the activity is corrected immediately before moving forward. The investigation may be carried out as per the OIS guidelines of CEDAR, that means the Center for Drug Evaluation and Research, which really provides a lot of guidance to industry on various aspects, or MHRA guidelines. The MHRA guideline provides a detailed slide share with various phases of investigation, very easy to understand and follow. If there is no impact on the quality of the output, it is considered as minor and has to be recorded with immediate correction. As discussed, the intent of incidence is considered as an accident that does not impact significantly the quality of output. So anything other than the incidence is considered as deviation. If it is a minor deviation, it should be recorded and corrected immediately. If there is significant impact on the quality of output, it is considered as major or sometimes critical. A detailed investigation into the causative factors has to be done with comprehensive kappa. Compre comprehensive kappa means looking into the system procedure for any modifications required to address the deviation. Training for every deviation is not the correct approach. Training should be given only when there is evidence that the operator could not do the job correctly. Let us see some examples of deviation and incidents. In laboratory, while transferring the sample into the volumetric flask for dilution, some amount of sample spilled out. It is a clear case of spillage of sample. So you know that you transferred less amount of the sample into the flask. You should not hide this fact 
accidents may happen sometimes this is considered as an incident but this incident has to be recorded then you can reweigh the required amount of the sample and proceed again with the analysis the point here is that you acknowledged the spillage and discarded the process for further diluting there is no impact on the analytical result because the analysis was abundant at this stage the point to note is that there is no impact on the analysis because of this deviation which is classified as incident and you abandon further processing let us see some more examples the system suitability did not pass after injecting the system suitability standard injections in hplc analysis what is system suitability in hplc it is a confirmation that the system is satisfactorily working to initiate standard injections and sample injections so this is a deviation this cannot be an incident you have to go into the investigating into the root cause of the failure you should start a ois investigation so there is lot more information to look into this has to be captured as a deviation and investigate the reasons for failure of the system suitability parameters so what you can look into you may look into the column performance fluctuations in the mobile phase flow preparation of system suitability solutions cleanliness of glassware etc to name a few the investigation has to be carried out as per the ois investigation guidelines till the root cause is totally established let us see some more examples while transferring a solvent from the storage tank there was a leak in the pipe due to damage this is an accident no impact on the quality only the solvent loss was found while carrying out titration the conical flask accidentally slipped on the floor and broke this is also an accident you have to do again the titration the analyst calculated the result in a wrong way the analyst made inadvertent error while calculating the result so he entered the wrong result the operator made a transcription error transcription error means re-entering the data in another record and inadvertent error on this is considered as incident the analyst accidentally exposed the light sensitive materials before taking for analysis so exposure an unintentional accidental exposure of the light sensitive material before initiating the testing is also considered as incidents let us see some more examples the operator missed out to charge the required quantity of catalyst in the reactor this is a clear deviation see the operator did not charge the required quantity of the catalyst in the reactor here you have to look into all potential whys till you get the root cause for example how the catalyst was staged how it was labeled whether or not it was available nearer the reactor what are the potential reasons for missing out is there a provision in sop to charge catalyst or it happens by practice or as an implied requirement of the procedure all this have to be looked into if everything is okay and found that the operator does not know how to do that then he should be imparted with necessary training the analyst used an out of calibration equipment or obsolete version of stp for analysis this also is a similar case you have to investigate the system procedures first with all details the operator missed out the sequence of steps in the production of a batch 
this is another example of potential system failure the operator labeled the containers wrongly even this deviation has to be investigated completely into the packaging and labeling system by now you understand the difference between the incidents and the deviations accidents are rare so the incidents also should be rare if repeated incidences of the same type are there then they have to be handled as deviations all accidents have to be recorded as incidences and confirmed that there is no impact on the output of the particular operation or activity i hope by now you know the difference between the deviation and incidence never take the path of recording as an incident to make it look simple and does not need a detailed investigation this attitude is not good try to record deviations incidences as described in this video in detail thank you thanks for watching for more videos please do subscribe like and share thank you